I, I got to do this. I got to go back for a second to, you know, Josh's mean comment, right? That you were just maybe like a mediocre snowboarder. You know, he was a plumber by trade before his accident. He was a snowboarder and, sorry, Trev, a, a pretty mediocre snowboarder at best. He's such a jerk. <laughs> well, Throw me under the bus. <laughs> no, apparently I wasn't that good, apparently. You know. but, but you were also, you were just getting, you'd spent some time snowboarding, but you were kind of just getting back into it. So, honest answer. Do you think if the spinal cord injury hadn't happened, are you like, man, I was going to be actually real good on a board? Uh, no, I was want to be a plumber and open up my own business by so 26. That's, really, so that's what I wanted to do. That's really where your focus was. Yeah. You weren't like, I'm, I'm, no, I'm uh, a plumber now, but I'm like, I'm going to be a pro snowboarder. Yeah, so I grew up, uh, my dad had a skateboard shop and a snowboard shop in like the mid or mid 80s when they first came out. So when I was born in 92, I was on a snowboard and uh, when I was like two or three. So for me, that was kind of just like the gist of it. And then my parents got divorced when I was seven, six, seven. Um, so we didn't have much money to get to the resort. So I didn't snowboard for like a good 10 years. And then after high school, I didn't really get into college and then became a plumber. And I kind of was just stuck in my hometown, not loving what I was doing. And then moved out to Colorado and uh, I was full-time plumber. And then I skied like, or snowboarded like 60 something days that year. So I, I just like fell in love with it. And it was just like, it was just a hobby for sure. Um, but yeah, I, I want to be a plumber. <laughs>